I'm trying to get better at screaming because I've gotten a few comments that are like, Jordan, why do you scream so much? Is it really that necessary to scream? Jordan, why are you screaming again? Yeah, that's right. I actually only have one comment and they were really nice about it. But my answer is I don't know. I just, I'm just a screamer, okay? Just a screamer. I've always, <laughs> I've always been that way. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've always been like the loudest kid in the whole entire world. Like. Uh, actually, not even making this up, I literally won loudest in my class my senior year of high school. So, yeah, there's that for you. Anyway, moving on. It's what you guys have been waiting for. It's the time. Guys, I've been up for so long because, um, I like couldn't sleep with shiz last night. Like I went to bed at one, I had to wake up at six, but I woke up like every 30 minutes because I was so afraid that I wasn't gonna wake up when my alarm went off. I don't know where this anxiety all came out of because it's really, really just not, I don't, I don't it's not it, that's for sure. Um, but I just get so nervous that I'm not gonna wake up for things that are important in the morning, which something was important this morning. I. Um, babysat this morning and I'm going to start babysitting three times a week um, to get this little girl on the bus and I cannot wait like I won't you guys will never see her I, won't, I mean maybe on like my Instagram or something but like I won't post her on the videos and stuff because I don't know if her parents are okay with that. Uh, camera ran out of space but anyway so I'll so be working at my other job I don't know what's wrong with me I haven't had any coffee today but I'm like <laughs> but I'm really really close to crashing I can feel it but every time I get my camera out, I'm just like, let's go. Because I love it. I literally love YouTube so much. I was telling that to someone the other day because I feel like so much recently people are like, like there's like one side of people that are so like, oh my God, like, I'm so excited for you. Like, you know exactly what you're doing and you're going to get this. And like, it's coming so soon. And like, this is your thing. And you can just tell you where it's me on YouTube. And then there's like, like a few like, Random people right here that are like, so you're going back to school, you can be an ultrasound tech, you can be this, you can be that, and I'm like, let's just get into today's video. Uh, Q&A time, let's go. You guys ask the juiciest, most craziest, most psychoist questions, so be prepared. Um, really though, I really wanted to do a Q&A because, um, I've just gotten like weird comments lately on my TikToks or like my YouTube videos and I'm like, are people watching? But I'm, I just like had to take a moment to like realize Jordan, you've gained 3,000 subscribers in just like two months. So like that is where the confusion's coming from. Getting on to the questions. I'm just gonna read these in order. Maybe not order, but the order that they are on my phone. I don't know if the order they came in. I'm gonna try to read them all, but you guys really were banging them out there. What are your favorite things to do with your friends? My favorite thing to do with my friends, just like adventurous, like life fueling things. I like to do ice cream sunset dates a lot. I like drives a lot. Canoeing, or like my, the movies. I feel like I do different things with different friends. Like I have one friend where we're so, so, so close. Like our one thing we always gonna do is eat. I have like three friends that like, it's a lot of like, Sunset, ice cream, quality, life feeling things. And then like, I have friends that we literally just like come over and just like lay down and like watch movies. And then I have friends that like, are, like I can do anything with. How are you doing? This is such a cute question. Like when I get these messages or like questions like this, I'm like, you guys are cute. Um, I'm doing okay. Like I'm doing, I'm at a very weird spot. I feel like I'm very, like, I love where my life is going. Like, I'm very happy with the path I'm taking. I can see, like, like I can see my future. I can see, like, my goals. Like, I see it all coming together. But I don't like where I'm right at in this very moment. And that's, like, a really weird thing to navigate. Like, like I know I'm taking all the steps to, like, get all these new things and the things that I want. And, and I know how fortunate I am to have a car that works. I know how fortunate I am to have a roof over my head. A job that pays me so well. Like, I am beyond 
grateful for those things. It's just not where I want to be right now. I'm happy where my life's going. I'm just really at like a blessed spot in life, if that makes sense. If you were to get a dog, what kind would it be? Okay, if I were to get a dog, it'd be like a golden doodle, probably, or like a golden retriever, like a golden lab, like something like that, but I, you'll probably never catch me with a dog. How did you and Casey um, meet? You guys are friends. Well, oh, thank you guys so much. Um, Casey and I, we actually met like a long time ago. Um, we knew each other like, I think we knew like a little bit of each other from mutual friends when we were really young, but then um, in high school, I think I might have told this story on my video one time, but my boyfriend was absolutely obsessed with Casey Dirksen, and so that's how I got to know her. It was a fun time. Cause Casey's literally so beautiful and so like, she's just a, an amazing person and my boyfriend was like, um, but really they were like best friends. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't even know if he would count as a boyfriend, but it's kind of what happened and that's how we met. And then as soon as she said like, I'm gonna start a YouTube video, a YouTube channel, and, like I was just like, let's clap when you're home. I'd love to just like video with someone because I love YouTube so much, but no one's doing it around here. That's how. And we just clicked, like we were literally two peas in a pod. Like we just, we connect on a level and I'm so thankful for our friendship and like all the things that she does for me and like helps me like learn and grow. Like I get teary eyed thinking about it because I seriously do have really, 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 really good friends. Like tearing up <laughs> because I'm so thankful. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Good? Question. I think about myself. My favorite thing about myself would probably be my personality and just like, like that I'm really outgoing and I feel like I never really meet a stranger and like, I just like, I'm for most of the time like happy. Like, I really just am happy. But my favorite like feature about myself, um, probably my my nose from the front. I, not from the side, but from the front. And I guess just everything is like there's so like there's days that I'm like no like body no but and then like 99.9% .9 of the time I'm like it's moving it is working like look at me in this camera I am healthy I am so freaking thankful favorite makeup product at the moment Tarte um, concealer is my favorite like I love it what's your favorite thing about Bexley probably just that she is my best friend like she makes my day like she she's literally like i would be completely completely lost without her like, guys, i don't know what it is like that's going on right now and like it's making me emotional for some odd reason but like starting my video like i feel like very good about this video right now and just thinking that like my first video like was like little baby bexley and like we were in like this white swing and like just like in this apartment and like it's like a whole other life and like huh like I, if I was like future Jordan talking to past Jordan like you freaking go sister I don't know what made me think like think that I don't know if there's these questions what it is but oh my god like proud moment of myself and pat on the back hardest part about juggling being a mom co-worker awesome friend uh, probably that I just feel like I'm it's so hard to focus on each and every single one of them and like they're all so important to me like my friends are so good to me like all of my friends are so good to me and it is so hard being a mom being at work doing this doing that doing that to like like I want them to all know how important they are to me and that they're just as important to me as I am to them. But like sometimes I feel like I don't do enough to show them that. But I I really, really, really hope they all know how much I'm like I am obsessed with my friends. When do you think you'll start dating again? I don't I don't know. I don't know when I will. Like I don't know when I will seriously start dating again. Like I have not seriously started dating and I have never been more single in my entire life like there's not one person that I like snapchat like I snapchat people but I don't like it's not like did he snapchat me did he answer did he read it like I am so single that it's 
but I need that. Like, I don't have the time for it right now. I was just telling you guys how I don't, like, I wanna move, I want a new car, I wanna, I wanna do YouTube. I have to focus on all of those things and on me and, and Bexley. Not that I'm just gonna be like, turn something down if something amazing came my way, but I, I'm not where I wanna be right now and I, I have a lot, a lot, a lot I have to work on. Um, not even like, like mentally or physically or personally, just like, just with life. DFX's name, Pinterest. Would you ever consider coming to Australia once COVID isn't a thing anymore? That would be so cool. Like, I would love something like that. And I don't know if that's anytime, like, anywhere soon. But I definitely would consider that. Do you ever have mom guilt? How do you deal with it? If only you guys knew, I have the worst mom guilt over the most randomest things. Like, I wish I could explain it to you guys. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. I try to just deal with it by reminding myself, like, me getting away, me doing whatever I'm doing in that moment, either one, I learn from it, two, I have to have that time to, like, take to myself to be a better mom. Moms need breaks, mom and dads need breaks. Everyone needs a break from something and you, it's so important to have that time. Also, to be honest, I don't think Bexley cares when she's away from me, like, but I have mom go about going to California when Bexley was the one on a vacation. Like, I just get a bunch of mom guilt so badly, but um, I do my best. I try to remind myself, I'll talk to my friends a lot because they like to like remind me that like that's normal and that like I'm doing such a good job as a mom and so yeah, um, but if you ever have mom guilt problems, just message me. I love talking about them because it's normal. Can you and Casey come to Nashville, Tennessee? Love you guys. Actually, Casey and I, I think we'll be taking a trip to Nashville soon rather than later. Like maybe within the next few years. So I go to Nashville pretty often because my best one of my best friends live there. And I'm actually going to Nashville next month. Uh, does X have an Instagram account? No, she doesn't, but you guys have been mentioning that recently. So can you say hi, Maddie? I love your videos. Hi, Maddie. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. Are you dating someone in the Pereira house? No, guys. Casey. <laughs> I'm dating Casey, okay? No, I'm not dating anyone there. I am genuinely obsessed with each and every individual in that house though like one everyone is so different two everyone is so like welcoming and kind and amazing and motivating and inspiring and like the most positive people ever i love them i love them i love them and i miss them so 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 much have you thought any more about moving to cali right now it's not in the it's not a question um i'm not going to live there right now something one day will be there are you and Drage really dating guys no Drage and I are really not dating would you ever visit Seattle Washington that sounds fun I thought Bexley didn't have a dad okay I got this comment on my Instagram the other day or on my TikTok the other day and but yeah Bexley has a dad and he's a great dad he is in Bexley's life every single day like well, every other day, but really every single day, pretty much. Um, Cause like we drop her back, off back and forth every other day. So yeah, Logan's amazing. He's a great dad. She has a dad, 50-50 for the most part. I work a little less, so I get her a little bit more, but if it was up to him, he would have her all the time if he could. Like he's a great dad, he's an amazing dad. Yes, she has a dad. Got it? How's co-parenting going? You are glowing, thank you so much. We do what we gotta do for Bexley and that's our main priority, so yeah. I think that that's all that I'm gonna answer today. That pretty much sums it up, my life recently. That's all for the q and I love you guys so much. We are literally like this close to like, this close to 10K. Subscribe if you're watching this because you know, all you gotta do is like sign into your Google account and then hit subscribe, and then you're done. Turn on press notifications too if you're feeling friendly. Comment down below what else you wanna see from us. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, we're racing under 10K. 
you guys mean the whole world to me. I promise you that when I'm having a bad day, I go and look at your guys' comments. You guys make my whole entire day. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Okay, love you, bye.